the project tools inside of Open Roads Drainage. To get to the project tools, let's go to the tools pull down. And in this section right here is the project tools. And this just allows us to look at some of the tools inside of here to set up for your project. So if we go underneath options, drainage, you're going to see some options underneath here. And you got four different tabs. You got the global tab, which allows us to compact the database after doing 10 changes inside of the DGN file. Some window colors. If you go to the hydraulic model, here you got some options to determine how you want your element labeling to show up. Same thing for your pipe links and your conduit descriptions. Just gives you some options that you can change if you want to for your project. Same thing for the drawing for your symbol size manipulators and text size manipulators along with your units. So if you want to change your units, you can change them inside of here along with your precision. Another one that you may want to review is your catchment settings. So if you use the catchment tool, which we'll talk about later on, for your catchment delineation options, here's where you can go through here and change some of those settings on how it determines how to create your catchment area from the train model that you have out there. Another one that you have is underneath project. You got some stuff underneath here that you can review for like your project properties. You could fill this information out for your project. That way, if you send this off to somebody else later on down the road, they know who worked with this project and what company it is and so forth for this particular DGN file and also this hydraulic model. So those are just some of the project tools underneath here that you can review for your project. That way it outputs the stuff the way you want it to for your particular drainage project that you're working on.